Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be comparing both Adobe Analytics and Google Analytics to see which one is a better match for you. In this video I'll be discussing different features, benefits and drawbacks of each program. So let's jump into it. So to start with it's important to know what features each one actually has. So to start with I'm going to explain a bit about Adobe Analytics. Then I'm going to go on and explain Google Analytics. And then at the end, we're going to be comparing both of them to see which one's the best fit for you. So what is Adobe Analytics? Adobe Analytics is a web analytics platform that helps businesses understand their website traffic and customer behavior. It collects data from websites, mobile apps and other digital properties and then uses that data to generate reports and insights. Adobe Analytics can be used to track a variety of metrics, including page views, unique visitors, bounce rate, conversion rate, traffic sources, device usage, and customer demographics. And it also has a few other features, such as pathing analytics. So Adobe Analytics can track the path that users take on your website from the first page they visit to the last page they visit. This can help you understand how users are interacting with your website, and you can identify any areas where you can improve the user experience. They also have customer journey analysis, so it can track the entire customer journey from the first time a user becomes aware of your brand to the time they actually make a purchase. And this can help you identify the touch points that are most important in influencing customer decisions. They also have predictive analytics. This uses machine learning to predict future customer behavior. This can also help you make better decisions about your website and marketing campaigns, such as what products to promote or what marketing channels to use. There's also cross-platform tracking, which means it can track users across multiple devices and platforms, so you get a complete view of their behaviour. This can be helpful for understanding how users are interacting with your brand across different channels. And last but not least, they have advanced segmentation. They offer a variety of advanced segmentation options, so you can drill down into your data and get more insights. This can be helpful for understanding different segments of your audience and tailoring your marketing campaign accordingly. So now that we know a bit about Adobe Analytics, what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is another popular web analytics platform that offers a variety of features and benefits. It is a free platform that is easy to use and can be used to track a variety of metrics including page views, unique visitors, bounce rate, conversion rate, traffic sources, device usage and customer demographics. And they also have a few other custom features such as real-time reporting, which means it provides real-time reporting so that you can see how your website is performing in real time. This can be helpful for making quick decisions about your website or marketing campaigns. They also have enhanced e-commerce tracking, which can help you track sales and conversions from your website. This can be helpful for understanding the effectiveness of your marketing campaign and optimizing your website for conversions. They also have integration for other Google products, Google Analytics integrates with other Google products such as Google AdWords and Google Display Network so that you can get a more holistic view of your marketing performance. And last but not least, they are open source. So, so because they are open source, you can customize it to meet your specific needs. This can be helpful for businesses that need more flexibility and control over their analytic data. So now that we have a basic understanding of each platform, let's compare them side by side. So to start with, we're going to look at the cost. Adobe Analytics starts at $30,000 a year, whereas Google Analytics is free. So if you're an everyday average person, Google Analytics is going to win this one because most people, unless you have a huge business, are not going to be able to spend $30,000 a year. Next up, data collection. Adobe Analytics collects data from websites, mobile apps and other digital properties, whereas Google Analytics collects data from websites only. Adobe Analytics tracks a variety of metrics, including page views, unique visitors, bounce rate, conversion rate, traffic sources, device usage, and customer demographics. Google Analytics tracks the same metrics as Adobe Analytics, plus real-time reporting and enhanced e-commerce tracking. Some of the features that Adobe Analytics has is segmentation, A-B testing, predictive analysis, pathing analysis, customer journey analysis, cross-platform tracking and advanced segmentation. Whereas the main features of Google Analytics are real-time reporting, enhanced e-commerce tracking and inte integration with other Google products 
and the fact that it's open source. So in terms of scalability, they both are scalable to meet the needs of businesses of all sizes. So for that one, you don't have to worry about what you're choosing. And also the same with security. As you can see, both platforms, as you can see, both have secure platforms that protect customer data. So which one is actually better? Is it Adobe Analytics or Google Analytics? Now, the answer truly depends on your specific needs and requirements. If you're looking for a powerful web analytics platform with a wide range of features and benefits, then Adobe Analytics is a good option. However, if you're looking for a free platform that is easy to use and offers a variety of metrics, then Google Analytics might be a better option for you. The fact that Adobe Analytics costs so much will price a lot of people out. However, if that's not an issue for you, think back to all the points I said about in this video and take those into account. And then from there, you can decide which one suits your business better because there isn't actually the correct answer for this. It's truly going to depend on your specific needs and requirements. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you now understand the differences between Google Analytics and Adobe Analytics. If you do, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.